Hello everyone. Having studied what is tangential flow and radial flow, we'll go through in detail what the tangential jet. So here, what we'll do is we'll go through all the sides quickly once, and then come back in detail about all uh, individual slides. So this slide you have already seen the explanation of uh, tangential flow. This one you have already seen uh, the force exerted by the jet with centrally hitting single moving curved vein. This uh, we have already proved. So you will be knowing this. There are inlet velocity triangle, outlet velocity triangle and uh, components of um, the velocities, the velocity of uh, whirl, velocity of flow, here also velocity of whirl and then velocity of flow. Uh, and let us go to the next slide here if the angle beta goes beyond 90 degrees uh, how the velocity triangle looks how vw2 will be that is velocity of whirl velocity of flow then this slide gives the final step like uh, how much is the force that is acting on the vein what is work done work done per unit mass work done per unit weight expressions and efficiency and uh, so these slides will be once again explaining uh, the inlet and outlet velocity triangles which we have already studied so we will not be spending much time on these um, slides but uh, uh, for reference I have kept them here so part by part this is inlet velocity triangle its analysis outlet velocity triangle and its analysis are uh, what are the components distances etc okay we will go into the details of each one of uh, the slides so here already we have seen that in tangential flow the entry point and exit point of the z remains at the same radial distance because of that u1 and u2 that is velocity of the vein at the inlet point and velocity of the vein at the outlet point remains the same that is r omega here impulse momentum principle you know that it is um, force in particular direction x is given by mass rate of flow into v1 minus v2 in the direction of x because it is moving vein we have to take relative velocity at entry relative velocity at exit in x direction if it is a series of veins, then mass rate of flow becomes rho a v1. Because it was a single moving vein, the mass rate of flow was rho a v minus u or rho a vr. vr is a relative velocity because you know that the jet and the vein are moving in the same line because of that relative velocity becomes v minus u. So here um, for tangential flow case both inlet and outlet are at the same distance u1 equal to u2 equal to u r omega. Mass rate of flow becomes rho a v1 because of series of uh, veins we use v1. So m by t mass rate of flow is known. Now the only question is um, we have to deal with this vr1 x minus vr2 x. I mean inlet velocity triangle this is vr1 
x is this direction so vr1 x component is this you can just see here it is vr1 cos theta or it can be this whole distance that is vw1 velocity of whirl minus u1 so vr1 x vr1 x is substituted as vw1 minus u1 coming to the outlet velocity triangle vr2 is this vr2 x is that way it is left towards that's why it should have negative sign it can be calculated as sum of u2 plus this distance and this is nothing but vw2 so u2 plus vw2 would be making vr2 cos phi or x component of vr2 so here u2 plus vw2 this negative sign is because it is going leftwards this force i mean this velocity will be having a leftwards uh, direction that's why there is a minus sign this minus sign is original minus sign so ultimately the expression becomes rho a v1 v w1 plus v w2 now if the angle becomes more than 90 degrees this particular thing u2 plus vw2 becomes u2 minus vw2 and after simplification it it comes out to be rho a v1 vw1 minus vw2 so if these two expressions are clubbed together we can write rho a v1 vw1 plus or minus vw2 so this is the final expression one should remember right this more than 90 degrees this particular thing is explained in uh, this light outlet velocity triangle with angle beta more so what we want is we are to x we want this much which is going leftwards minus sign but this can be calculated as u2 minus vw2 that's how it is written so we are to x is u2 minus vw2 the details are given here one can understand we have used the same thing in earlier slide over here u2 minus vw2 and final expression becomes rho a v1 vw1 plus or minus vw2 this is what is fx